I'm going to show you how to make folders and organize them inside your Google Drive. So I have got my Google folder open on my phone and you can see there's Drive, Calendar, Sheets, Docs, Slides, lots of Google stuff. Drive is the place where these things are organized. So I have Docs and Slides and Sheets, but Drive is the place where I can organize and move them around. So let's open Drive. Here in my Drive, you can see lots of folders and lots of different files. And so I want to make a new folder. At the bottom, I can choose the plus sign and I can choose folder. Here I have a new folder and I need to name it. So I'm gonna name mine 340 screenshots for study skills. You might want to have something like that for all of your Google Calendar images that you're going to put in your portfolio. So I'll click create. Now I have this new folder, 340 screenshots. When I open it, I can see there's nothing there. So I can share this, I can change the color and the name, things like this, but I don't have anything in here yet, so I need to add something. So let's go back out here to my main folder. This is my main Google Drive folder, my drive at the top you can see. I'm gonna go down to my screenshots and see if I want to add some of these. So here I am in my screenshots and I want to add some of my calendars. I can see my calendar week one. I'm gonna click the three dots and I am going to say move. So with move, it's gonna ask me where I want to send it. I'm gonna select my drive. I am going to select 340 screenshot study skills and I'm gonna click move here. Move. So now when I go back out to my main drive, I can see 340 screenshots. When I open it up, I'll see there's that calendar picture that I put in there just now. So anything you want to move there, you can click the three dots uh, and then you can choose move and move will let you choose where you want to move it. You can choose the folder you want it to go into. So now I'm inside 340 screenshots and in here I can choose the plus button and I can add new things here inside this folder. So if I want to make a new slides, sheets or docs in here or even another folder inside this folder, I can use this button here to do that. Now I want to share this folder with my teacher so that she can see all of my screenshots too. I'm gonna go up here to the three dots at the top and I'm gonna choose share. I'm going to type her name and make sure I choose the right one. There she is. I'm going to add a message. Hello, Miss Jennifer. Here are my screenshots. Regards, student. I'm gonna send it. I can see here it says editor, that's important. I'm gonna click send. And this, this folder now has been shared with my teacher. So my teacher can see everything in it and I can see everything in it. It's editor, it's set to editor mode for my teacher so she can add things here, she can edit things inside of it. This editing means that she has control over what is in my folder as well as me. I can control it and she can control it. So if I want to share, that's where I do. Um, I can rename it here if I need to. I can also move this folder if I need to. So these are all things that I can do inside folders. Now I'm gonna go back out to my main drive. Sometimes you'll see shared drives um, if someone shares something with you, but your main stuff will be in my drive. Those are all the things that you create. When you are in your Google Drive, if you don't see the things that you need to, you need to check and make sure this is your SQU account. If you look here on the three lines, you can, oops, if you look here at your avatar, it will tell you which account you're signed in with. You need to make sure that you're signed in with your SQU Gmail. If you're signed in with a different one, you will see different files and different folders. So you need to sign out with your other one and sign in with your SQU one to get all of your SQU documents. That's it, thank you.